here we'll start our discussion of a basic mathematical concepts and we'll start with the functional relationship so here we'll first discuss the concepts of function so under the mathematical concepts and all the techniques functional relationship is the most important thing for the subject related called economics here in this particular lecture i'll tell you about how the functions determine and what types of functions we have like linear function multivariant functions etc so here we start with the particular basics that this particular function describes the relationship between two or more than two variables now under this particular thing that function so it is actually shows the relation so relation between two or more than two variables that is what we call the functional relationship it means that this function express dependence of one particular variable on the other like for example if we write like this then this is that y is the function of x here y depends on the value of x so here f stands for function now in this particular thing that this implies that every value of y is determined by the value of x in this particular scenario we can easily say that y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable here independent variable we can refer as the cause and the dependent variable we can refer as the effect sir you know that there are certain functions like consumption is the function of income it means this consumption is the effect of the cause that is income if you will experience rise in the income then your consumption will also go up so this is your cause and this is your effect now apart from this the famous function which is known as the demand function so under demand function that is demand we can say demand for x commodity is the function of price of this x commodity under this that particular quantity demanded is a dependent on the independent that is the price of that particular commodity because how much quantity an individual will demand that depends on the price of that particular commodity on the same lines if we write the supply function so under supply function we can write like this that here we can say that this supply of x is dependent variable and price of that particular x is the independent variable now here next we'll see that if that particular thing that in the last equation that is this particular equation is suppose the equation y depends on more than two variables so then we'll write like this y is equals to function of x1 x2 x3 and go on so here till xn here we can simply say that if there are more than two variables then the functional relationship can be written as like this it means this particular y is dependent on x1 x2 x3 and xn so this shows that this dependent that y depends on the several independent variables here n means the number of independent variables now here again this that these x are the cause and this y is the effect now for example if we take about the demand function obviously you know that demand for a commodity is dependent on more than one thing that is price of that particular commodity here we take like price of the other commodity if we take about the income money income of the individual we can say that taste and preference etc so here in simply sense that this particular demand for x is dependent on four important things that is the basic form here we can say that if we want to write the exact nature of the relation between dependent and independent variable we write certain specific form so under specific form of the function this specific form is we can take we draw 
with some basic mathematical forms. Now under this basic mathematical forms, first we'll discuss about the linear function. Now under linear function, it is very simple that it is widely used mathematical form. So the most popular among economists. So this is the most popular form of function. Here in this function, it can be stated with the positive constants. So here we write like this. So y is the function of x where a and b are the positive constants. Here they are called as parameters. Now these parameters are of the function. Now we can say that these parameters of the functions are the variables which that are fixed and given in the specific function. So whenever we we'll, uh, give certain kind of numbers these are fixed and given in the particular specific function. Now these value of a and b is determined by the specific nature of linear function. Now the demand function with the price as the only independent variable. It is written as the quantity demanded is a minus b these are parameters and this is particular price so here the minus sign why we have this minus signs because we have the inverse relationship or we can say the negative relationship between the price of the commodity and the quantity of the commodity here inverse relationship means whenever you'll find that there is decline in the prices of the commodity then the quantity demanded will go up or vice versa now if we say that if we give certain number for this particular quantity demanded function suppose the a equals 7 and b equals 0.5 here under QD that is 7 minus 0 0.5 P here why this because A minus B P A was the specific function of the quantity demanded it means whenever you will experience that there is changes in the prices suppose for example here in the first example we take that P is equals to 0 now if we put this value 7 minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 then it is like 7 if suppose in the second example we write that p is equals to 0 now the quantity demanded is 7 minus 0 0.5 into 1 so here the answer is 7 minus 0 0.5 and the final answer is 6.5 and we can go like this now here if we want to show that the specific demand <coughs> specific demand function we can draw the, a particular demand curve by having these particular values of p here we can draw a particular demand curve with the help of demand function linear demand function and that particular uh, demand function will be known by this particular equation Now here we do not concern about that particular graph. Now moving on to the other topic like we said that if we want to measure that there are certain kind of mathematical practices in the economics like for example if we draw a graph then suppose on the x axis we have quantity demanded on the y axis we have prices this is y axis this is x axis and this is your demand function if that demand function is referred as is the specific function of qd is equal to 7 minus 0 0.5 p now in the basic mathematics or we can say that in conventional generally prices are not taken on the y axis but here in economics we take prices on the y axis so if we want to the if we want to main, um, calculate this particular slope then this particular slope will be delta q over or delta p over delta q now this is the function of this but uh, this is the slope of this particular uh, specific function of this graph 
here in this particular video we'll again discuss certain important concepts so here we discuss about multivariate linear demand function Now under multivariate linear demand function, it means that linear demand function with more than one independent variables can be write as, so here we can write like this, A is A plus B1 Px plus B2 Py plus B3 M that is the money income plus B4 T that is taste and preferences. So here B1, B2 and B3, B4 are the coefficient of the respective variables like respective variables like Px, Py, M and T. Here we can say that if, uh, if the effect of these variables other than on prices, the demand function are depicted as the shift in the demand curve. As we have already discussed, the movement along the demand curve is different from the shift in the demand curve. For example, anything other than prices that is any changes in the citrus peribus condition then there is a shift of the whole demand curve so demand will go up this implies that shifting of the demand curve to the right if you want if you have any doubt you can refer to the previous lectures now the linear multivariate function is we can say that if we put certain kind of coefficient with the uh, with the values then we can rewrite this particular equation so here we discuss that these are the dependent variable and these all are independent variable of the demand function. Now we will discuss about the power function. How we make or how we give certain kind of powers. Here under power we have certain kinds of degree. So in the linear function that previously we had discussed that was only of the first degree function. It means they do not have any such power but we now turn to certain powers like quadratic and cubic form we generally use this quadratic equation in economics so here quadratic equation will first start under quadratic function we have the equations like a plus b x plus c x square this square is the power so it is raised by the second power it means that quadratic function is dependent on one or more independent variables that are squared so that is why we have the x square now that power is also referred as the exponent here if we simply write that this y uh, y depends on the constant a plus the coefficient time of b into x that is independent variable plus coefficient c uh, times the square of value x suppose if we take these uh, concepts like a is equals to 4 b is equals to 3 and c is equals to 2 now we can rewrite this particular equation is y that is 4 So y is equals to 4 plus 3x plus 2x square. Now here we can obtain that different values of y for taking different values of independent variables that is x. So now we need to understand that there are two types of we can say that quadratic equation. So here with the help of graph we'll understand that there are two types of quadratic equation. Now under this particular equation, here we can say that this is your convex quadratic equation and this is your concave quadratic equation. Here under convex quadratic equation, your x square is positive. So here we can say that under convex that is the positive. Here under this positive means that this particular value of c that is we have given as 2 so here c is obviously greater than 0 because whenever you'll find it will come as positive then the shape of this particular graph is like u-shaped 
so that is the u-shaped curve here in this sense in the opposite if the coefficient of x square and that c is negative it means c is less than zero here we can find that this particular graph or curve of the graph will be concave here this concave uh, the shape of this particular graph is known as the inverted u-shaped here inverted u-shape means opposite u so it is worth noting that the slope of the curve of the convex quadratic functions is evident from this particular shapes u or inverted u in case of negative here we need to differentiate these two particular things now under this if we talk about that uh, if we analyze this particular graph of any quadratic function that is the in actual that is known as parabola which either may be convex or the concave so here the graph of any quadratic equation is having the shape of parabola parabola is a curve which is a turning point unlike the linear function and its slope is changing with the changes in the differences value of the x now if we talk about the multivariate quadratic equation so multivariable quadratic function now under this multivariate quadratic function it means that particular y is dependent on more than one variable so we can write like this this is our x1 minus cx square 1 plus dx square minus ex square 2 ex2 square so here in this particular equation it means this is three dimensional equation and under this three dimensional equation it is not possible to show that particular equation on the graph so on the graph we cannot show these kind of equations now if we talk about the last that is the cubic function under cubic function we have the third degree term as well so you know that if this is the equation that is the first degree plus c square is the second degree and dx cube is the third degree so under this a is the intercept term and the dependent on the variable x so here y is the dependent and all the variables are independent so this is first degree this is second degree and this is third degree when all the signs of the coefficient that is a b c d are positive then the value of y will increase progressively with the larger increments in these particular value of x if that such is not the case if the signs are different then it depends on that particular graph of the function that is it may be either convex or the can concave so it depends on the size signs of that particular equation hope you like this video if you have any doubt you can ask on the whatsapp number Thank you so much.